Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with two Sucrafts. Yes, welcome to our channel, We're Independent Summit Up Demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Summit Up products from an online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at mitosucrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies in the form of tutorial bundles designed by the Snapping Glam Squad and Global Creator Project. So that previous tutorials are available from our website as well like the He's the Man and Brood for You as well as the Just Because theme from Snapping Glam Squad. But for the month of August you can earn these for free, the celebration um, theme as well as Oh What Fun which is the Christmas theme from Snapping Glam Squad. Who wants to start singing? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so it is now August, so uh, but it's the last month that you can earn free celebration products from our online shop when you earn when you place a qualifying order from our online shop and of course you can order from the mini catalog July to December as well. Lovely. Um it's also the last month that you can get the um oh sorry Tommy. It's also the last month that you can get that amazing planner as well. So if you want, if you would like that planner, which you may have seen, um, I can't reach it at the moment. Maybe we'll show you it at the end. Um, if you like that, then this is the last month you can get it, and that's part of your joining offer. So you can get how much is it? You can get one hundred and thirty pounds off a product for ninety nine pounds, plus the planner as well. And, and there's inserts in there's there. There's inserts notebooks. for about a year and a half. There's notebooks. There's yeah. There's stickers. There's it's, it's really nice. I'm enjoying using it actually, and I yeah. am actually using it surprisingly. If you say so. no, I'm kidding. We he will is. see how long <laughs> that lasts for. So good. Yes. Anyway, um, so Jay is going to be creating a lovely card for you tonight. Um, he's got a lot of stuff on the table here. So we have got, but I think the, this it's is the celebration. main. Let's it's celebration. Celebration. Let's celebrate celebration. Celebrate celebration. So he's using this amazing, it's the stylish sketches stamp set. This one right here. Um, and is pairing it with the Rings of Love DSB, which is again from Celebration. Okay, and we have also got mounting air on the table. We've got kindest yeah. gnomes on the table. Yeah, we've I, got, I will go through those. We've got lots. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just going to hand you over to Jay, and he can then just go through it all because I'm pinching his um, pinching what he's going to say. He's just going to repeat himself. <laughs> so That's I will okay. let you go on with Jay. But yes, stylish sketches is the main. I think yeah, the main yeah. focus, and I think I've seen a little prototype of this. Yeah. Is it, or just I'm actually right. a bit confused actually on what one we're doing yeah, over here. Just that, so one. just that one there. Yeah. What's that one for? Just to show a okay. different All right. thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roughly. All right, you're in for a treat. Let's hand you over today. <laughs> cool. Relax. Thank you. Yes, so um yeah, because I've I've got a couple of uh, prototypes on the side so Barry's getting confused. But the main focus Doesn't is take much. <laughs> no. <I have laughs> to agree. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but the main focus is the stylish sketches and it'll be the fox. What does the fox say? I don't know. Uh, what do you think of this card? Later on, do comment below and you'll, for a chance to win the card that I'll be creating today, do comment. Uh, yeah, place a comment. You need uh, to subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit the like and share the video as well. So as Barry mentioned, I will be pairing it with Mountain Air. And that sentiment is from the Kindness Gnomes, which is going to be the Warm Wishes. Okay, and as I mentioned as well, it is with the Rings of Love DSP, which is another celebration item. I was going to get the sentiment from the... What's the other one? The, the sentiment from all of the words, but I thought that might be too much celebration stuff. But yeah, this is the Rings of Love Designers Paper. As always, you have double-sided, lovely designs on there. And we're actually, did are we using this for one of our team gathering? I think in August, so yes. Um, this one, autumnal harvest, oh, that's lovely color there. We also have that one. So this one, I'll create another card with the birdies. And I'll be using the back design for this the, for the card that I'm creating now, which is that one. So lovely watercolor with I think rock salt effect 
and you have the houses which you can easily fussy cut or create scenes I've seen the rolled up um, paper reveal I guess cards made with those what's the back of that some nice medallions I guess you have this one with the mushrooms and the wood ring so to coordinate with the ringed with nature and you have poinsettias and some woods trees <laughs> but yes that is the dsp i just wanted to go through that with you and today we are going to be making a scene you probably guessed already with that paper as well as the mountain air and the fox so we will be doing some ink blending and some coloring so for this one i am gonna use stays on just purely because stays on is a lot darker in the initial stamping and i, I don't have to stamp it two or three times with like the memento so i'm just making sure that that's inked up properly All right i'm just gonna do that and I will stamp him just there I think it's straight press and hold so you can just barely see him I will quickly just clean the stamp there is a uh, stays on cleaner but if you clean it soon as just to get rid of the staining that should be fine but yes the stays on cleaner looks like I don't know because it's I can't find it on our trolley but that is fine so yes yeah, so that is done so I'm just gonna use ink blending so I will need the blending brushes or just one and the colors I'm using is just night of navy there we go so we're creating a uh, winter night scene with the fox and of course torn paper Lo love a bit of torn paper don't we it's easy and it's done so i'm just gonna create uh so barry's just given me the stays on cleaner i'll just quickly show you that and it does take off the the black marks from there even though it starts off with a black mark and just clean that off with shami and it just makes sure that that's nice and dry and lovely for the next time you use it there you go that's done so yes so torn paper for the ground and i'll do some mountains as well apologies the pan is on it's still hot even though i'm wearing <coughs> i'm wearing layers today it's uh barry that's hot. <laughs> hot so i'm just gonna do some mountains probably not as picky as that <laughs> oh well i'm sure i'll i'll make use of these okay so i've also pre-cut myself a circle uh, whatchamacallit template which is from the layering circles uh, if Barry brings me the layering circles I can tell you which one it is so with this I'm just I've got my circle I've got my ground I got my mountains as well so i'm actually gonna first color that in watercolor pencils okay and with the fox so this one is i don't know where i put it now there you go so the laying circles that one so it's one two one two three the fourth from the smallest okay so that is my circle if you wanted to know that if not now you know <laughs> there you go so yes so i'm gonna first 
color in pumpkin pie, early espresso, and basic black. Probably not basic black yet. So mostly pumpkin pie. So, and the best, the great thing about the watercolor pencil is it's actually strong enough or vibrant enough to withstand those um, DSP colors underneath. So you can still see the, um, well, the orange pumpkin pie. So I'm just quickly back and forth adding pumpkin pie around the body, around the leg, and on the tail as well. Okay. Shall I zoom that in so you can actually see what I'm coloring? That's better, isn't it? So I've just you can add more pressure to make it more darker, but I would say start off light. I'm actually not, but you can start off light so un until you've decided where you're gonna add your darker shade. But I'm just gonna quickly color this, leaving some kind of like uh, the DSP color and we can use some maybe white on those I didn't actually depending on the design of the DSP sometimes you don't have to use the white because on my original or my prototype I didn't actually use any white so that's why I didn't take it out but in this one I might have to use it just so I can get the highlights okay but just around the ears as well that one's facing us so not really probably just on the outer edge and where else I'm trying to look at my prototype and it's not around me so there we go and probably just on the forehead and just have a look are you happy with it if not just add a bit more and we're gonna use the early espresso to add some shading okay so I've already done those those ones so early espresso I'm gonna add, add a bit of shading between the kind of like where the white would you say that's his chest chest <laughs> I nearly said something else uh, and then on the feet or legs I'm gonna add the early espresso underneath there again it's just hints of darker shade for the shadow you can see from the illustration or the stamp there's some lines already there so just follow that along and add some early espresso and then underneath the tails as well okay i'm just gonna add more pumpkin pie there but that should be okay i'll bring in my white just to see if it makes a difference it should do because uh, is it it is making it slightly lighter but not as light as I hope it would be but I quite like that it's got the blue so it's kind of like reflecting the snow or the scene around him and I'm just gonna do that for that if you don't if you find that the white whisper white uh, doesn't work if you still have the chalk marker use the chalk marker or if you have any other white marker pens use that I do still have the chalk marker let's see if it'll work uh, just to add no that is gone I've got another one let's see if this works yeah you can just go around and maybe do some um, small short strokes just because it, so then it can like follows the design of the stamp where it's sketchy and you don't have to be really uh, accurate with the drawing or the coloring because it looks like he's about to run away anyway or slowly moving shall we say so underneath and on the face on the nose there we go I think that's fine I'll just add a bit more on here because as it dries it does go a bit duller or lighter um, or 
no darker even not lighter because you're adding a bit more on there okay that's fine i'm gonna add more early espresso down here on the feet because i forgot those and just around the back i think that's fine i hope you could, you've seen that does it look dark it's just the screen it's just my angle okay i'm i'm okay with that he said adding more layers on <laughs> right okay i'll just finish up there we go so as you can see i'm not overly too cautious cautious uh with <laughs> my coloring i'm just making sure that it's flowing like where the hair of the fox would go so i'm changing the angle of my pencil as well okay i that's gonna be okay i am happy with that we can crack on so i'm gonna zoom out and we can do some ink blending zoom out zoom out zoom out is it all the way up yes so um there's a bit of you can use some um, sticky note to ho hold these pieces down but i'm just gonna use my hand <laughs> So I actually want um, the ground first. So straight up there. Yeah, actually the other way. So I'm using that as my guide. So however is the ground, I'm just gonna use that up. Ink up your blending brush in a circular motion and off so I'm gonna add a hill where he's standing Ooh. and underneath there we go so that's okay I can then use more where he's actually st standing because I'm gonna add the moon if you haven't already guessed around him so I'm just gonna add that one because I want his um, the ground under him to be a lot darker so this is just gonna be there okay that's okay for now so that's done i'm going to add the next one which is just a slight hill there nope i keep i keep forgetting it's the other way around that i want it right i'm just gonna add a hill there so again ink up add on and move that along and yeah that's fine just so it can like continues on and then finally i'm gonna add my what you call that my moon to the moon where am i gonna put you there and I'm going to add some ink blending around that, okay? So what I like about this is like the watercolor design underneath helps create that texture that we we can't achieve obviously by ink blending so you already got a nice moon there i will just actually go around a bit more now you can create a mask for the fox but if if you don't mind him being a little bit darker in areas just be just you don't have to 
so you can see that it's slightly darker there but that's fine you can also use other masks that way so now I'm just gonna add my peaks of what you call it moons <laughs> peaks of moon mountains that's it and this one I am going to use that that side okay So just add a bit of that and with this technique as well because I've, I've used the same mask I need to remember when I'm gonna be doing my stamping what mask I've used for my heels but that's fine that's easy there we go and just to finish that up a bit of Uh, ink blending around the edges I can add more darkness in one edge as well as blend it a bit more um, I want that area to be a lot darker as well there we go So the focus is still there. Next, we are going to do some stamping. So, um, oh, did you see my, did you see the card there? <laughs> I don't know if you did, but if you did, that's good. Uh, so we have the trees with a bit of fox hair, I guess. It's cat hair, of course, what else? So this one, um, it, I'm gonna stamp there. It may look like it's, slightly smaller than the fox but I don't care it's like a shrub or something <laughs> it's, it's a small uh, growing tree so I'm gonna stamp that one there press and hold there we go and I'm also going to do some more trees around here so with that I'm just gonna use the off cut so remember I did that way so then the off cut of that is that I'm gonna use this one to then add the trees when I stamp there and for this one I'm gonna use the top end of that tree so I'm only inking up the top and I'm gonna build a couple of trees in the background slightly change the height of those because it still looks like trees to me and because we've used the mask it looks like it's far far away I'm also gonna add two more on here so we use the back side of that I think it would be oh you may have seen a sneak peek of the other one it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like it's correct because what you can do is you can also add more um, kind of like white lines afterwards so that one I'm gonna use small small there I didn't want it I don't know if you you saw me being undecisive but I didn't want it straight near that peak but I'm gonna move the next one quite cl actually I'll do it lower there we go So at least you can still see that one and then finally another one but this one I'm gonna do that one probably closer here yeah let's do that so again depending on where you've done your stamping and your masking of course that will determine where you're gonna how it's gonna look and however 
DSP, whatever DSP you use as well. So whilst that's done, um, I'm just going to finish up by adding a bit more ink blending where I want the darkest areas to be. Also, I will use my basic black. So if you find that your blending isn't going where you want it to be, just lightly, not as hard as when I was doing the pumpkin pie, just lightly go under on the ground where the fox is standing and just extend that shadow down okay you can also imagine that the, if the moon is there it's gonna hit those trees um, from behind so you can add a tiny bit of shading on those tree trunks and I love doing this with these trees because it just gives it dimension you can kind of like do it as a small triangle and of course you can do it on this one so the moon is there it's gonna go there so maybe that way you can lightly extend that so it looks blurry because it's far away I'm gonna do the same on this one but that is pretty much my scene I'm just gonna mount it and stamp a sentiment probably on another DSP so this one let's see just so it will I think sentimentless is fine we will see but I will just do a Knight of Navy. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'll just do stays on. Let's have a look. Warm wishes. I wanted a small sentiment just in case I didn't actually need it. Um, and I can just cut it down. Oh, I quite like. I quite like that. It's nice and thin. So I can just insert it where I, I want it. We'll cut that down. Where's the trimmer? Trimmer, trimmer. Mm -hmm. Or you can tear it, but I think that's too far down for me to tear. That looks okay. And. There. We'll see. That's thin enough. Cool. Right. And that's, yeah, that's the same DSP as that one. So I've got a Knight of Navy card base. 14 centimeters by 21 centimeters or 5.5 by 8.25 folded in half. Uh, I didn't say the length of this one, actually. The DSP was 5.5 uh, by 3 inches or that is seven and a half seven point six and then i got a basic black which i'm just gonna mat it on which is a quarter of an inch bigger in height but the same in width or that's about what that's what three six millimeters bigger so we are just going to add this so it's kind of like just a really one layer i can go in or two layers can go and embellish embellish it more but I think one is fine make sure that it's nice and center turn it over and also with the white if you wanted to add a bit of white around the edges so if you're of your heels I guess snowy heels if it works and because it's ink blended sometimes it does need that time for the white to come out add a bit of again just random lines 
again around where he stood and on the heels there I think that's fine and with this one I can actually add some more you okay? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> And I think that's fine. So let's decide. Barry, did you wanna um, come over and decide where we're gonna put this sentiment? I'm just gonna put it down. Where shall we put it? That's lovely. You're so clever, Jay. What do you think? It's gorgeous, it's not isn't finished it? Yet. Is it not finished yet? <laughs> no, but but it's but it's nearly it's, yeah, it's I need nearly to. done. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I prop it up and leave it sentimentless, or stay flat and put the sentiment? I'm thinking here, underneath, just so because of the yeah, thing there, kind of like your eye draws And up. I could all always just make the the ochre on the corner. There you go. Nice. Just so it's not as harsh. Lightly, lightly does it. But you can still see the colors underneath. Yeah, I'll go with that and then keep it flat, yeah? Yeah, let's keep it flat okay. and down there, I think, yeah. Shall I use peeves again? <laughs> Do you want to use your peeves? I did bring them I back over just I know, in case. I saw, but I'm just like, where am I going to put it? For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, Jay calls these their peeves. Um, and that's all I'm going to know them as now because it's I can't Peeves remember. Buffet. <laughs> they are the pearlized enamel. I can't say the word. I've never been able to say it. Pearlized enamel effects basics, and they come in this lovely white. They also come in a. If you haven't seen Jay use these already, come in a lovely red, as well, and they come in a black. So, I, yeah, I think you should. I don't know what colour you would use though, it's either going to be the white or the black. I'm thinking maybe black because it's quite a dark card anyway. Mm. But the white would be like snowfall. It could be like snowfall, but is that going to be, is that going to be too OTT? But I'm sure you can style it out and I'm yeah. sure you can turn it into something even more amazing. Whereas I would just end up with a big splodge of just sort of like things which don't really mean to be look like they should be there. Right, I'm going to... Slightly go to the left. Okay. I know. Obviously, you um, are probably some of you are probably saying no, don't use them, and some of you are saying yes. So, but we're going to go with yes by the looks of it. Oh, um, as long as you get Tommy. Please, as long as you don't have a cat um, um, nudging way, your arm at the same time. That's going to be <laughs> nearly. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous now. You nearly had a shooting star. Ooh, that would be nice. Oh, Ooh. Here we go. No, I, I can't because I'm I'm too conscious of um I'm Tommy. just gonna move Tommy out of the way for a moment. Here we go. Oh Tommy. You're making me nervous, Tommy. He won't touch it, it's not I've got him. Ooh. Well you've got the shakes. Yeah I know. Jay's maybe got nervous maybe for I need to eat because we have Yes, we been, haven't had dinner yet. I'm just gonna keep it on actually the trees. And I also, just on the left hand side, just because that's where I think the, oh, that's nice. What do you think? Yeah, lovely. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the You're gonna have to do all the trees side. now, aren't you? Oh no, it's a bit okay. I'm literally just, Tiny, tiny. That's why I think I'm. Um... Yeah, because you're really just. You don't want to do it. Jay, what Jay's trying to achieve here. I'm going to zoom in actually whilst he's doing this. See where. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see. So tiny, tiny. But you can probably pick it up from. 
just, it's kind of like almost just kind of just it's just gently coming out of the the end, and you're just kind of just touching the yeah. paper and leaving. You're not actually making. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others. Yeah, but I'm not um, making. But you're not actually making proper jewels, uh, gems on this. You're just kind of just adding, because touching and releasing, just to add a little it. bit of a. Because in my prototype, I tried to use the white pen, but it didn't work because it kept blending back into the background but we will see how this works i think these will work absolutely slow. yeah that looks yeah uh, i think Beautiful. that's fine does it need more i'll, I'll leave it <laughs> no i think i think you've done enough there now actually just i'm just going to bring that into shot there because that there is now um look at that can you see it Oh yes, you can. Kind of. I think some of the smaller ones, especially that one, I squished it. It's taken the night of navy color. So we'll see how it dries, yes. because it's too small. But yeah. no, I anyway. think they look absolutely great. Let's come back out there. Superb. All, all is that it? Best. That is it. That is my car. It is done. Um, before um, I share, we go up. There's another card I wanted to share. So this is for the stamp review crew blog hop. Um, and another card using the DSP is I paired it with the ring three rings dies and ring with nature stamp set there. So two different look using the DSP but incorporating the stylish sketches. Yes. Stamp set for that. Lovely. There we go. I'd like to see how you did that. <laughs> Is that another video? Would you like to see how this one was actually made as well? Because you're looking at it and Jay's going, yeah, do this, do that. But some of you may be looking at it. So I'm looking at that going, Seth, how have you done the insides? I could, but I think that's... But, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll Comment see. below. Let us know. Do you want to see how this one was made as well? Do you want Jay to do a video for that one? Right. So great. Um, right, I'm going to be very careful. So we're going to go back over to the face. There we go. That's that card there. Beautiful. Ooh. That's really, really nice. Again, I'm very jealous because Jay, well, Jay only makes one of these cards normally. Oh, and yes. My prototype, I didn't show you. I, I haven't made a card with it because um, this one is my prototype. I don't know where to look. So well, I want you to make a card yeah. with that. So I'll make stunning. a card with this one so you can We need that it. for a display somewhere, Careful. don't we? For a display well, somewhere. Yes, we need that for our Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we have a craft, oh, no, it's, no. craft show. Yeah, with Christmasy. We'll see. Yes. Oh no, it's it's celebration. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, so, but yes. Never anyway, mind. We're just waffling we're now. Bubbling on. Bubbling. So if you'd like to win the card, do comment below, and we will do a random draw when we come back from holidays. Yes. And like I said, this is a celebration stamp set, so you can get this free of charge with a forty-five pound spend as well. Did you get your planner? Oh, I didn't know. Do yeah. you want to? I'll, I'll go get it because it's, get it. the it's last behind. Time. And, oh, yeah. it, and we forgot to say it comes with a stamp set. Oh yes, it does come with a stamp yes. set. Making plans, there you go. Making plans, so, stamp yeah, set. So celebration going on at the moment. So you can, if you join our team, you get the £99, um, £130 of stuff for £99 plus. This lovely planner as well with inserts, with spares. Really, really good. Notebooks. And three notebooks. Yeah, really, really good little deal. So if that's something that interests you, do please contact us. Or alternatively, if you just want to get this stamp set free of charge, you can also shop with us down but down below as well. Links are down there. Please remember to thumbs up, like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much. Take care, See everyone. See you again very soon. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.